Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Three, two, one. We rented a villa on the western side of Crete, overlooking the sea. Oh, it's cold. We got in late last night, so we slept in and took advantage of the pool before heading to the mountain village of Argyropoli. We planned to visit the old Venetian village, built on the remains of the ancient city of Lapa, located here. So we found a place to park and started walking, missing the ancient city entirely. It was a little confusing, but we did find some cool springs and waterfalls in the lower village. These springs flow from the Lefka Ori mountain range and supply water to the town of Rethimno. Several taverns offer freshly caught trout and sturgeon, and the waterfalls keep the temperature here much cooler. There is parking near the tavernos, but come early to find a good spot. It would be a fun place to come back for dinner. We walked up the hill towards the car and stumbled upon the entrance to the old Venetian village and the ancient city of Wafa. The guidebook said to find the village church with a filigree clock tower, and here you find the archway to the Venetian village. Beyond the archway are shops selling lotions made from local avocados. If you go clockwise, you see the second century Roman floor mosaic. Next is a 13th century church, followed by the little chapel of St. Anthony. The lid of a baby sarcophagus is used as a step up to the church of Paraskevi. Lastly is a Roman door with an inscription that read, All things in this world are smoke and shadow. We return to the villa to take full advantage of the pool. This place is huge. The villa sits on about 1.2 acres covered with fruit trees. There are two swimming pools, one indoor and one outdoor and an outdoor kitchen. There were two horses, which was cool, but we weren't allowed to pet them. The villa even had a private chapel. The next day, we headed to Arkady Monastery. We were all starving, so thankfully there was a cafe and a large gift shop next to the parking lot. Who would like to do ostrich rides? Arkady Monastery is the site of the Cretan Revolution of 1866. The Cretans wanted to unify the island with Greece, but the Ottomans didn't want that. So the Ottomans gathered 15,000 men in Rathimno and made their way to the monastery. About a thousand people from neighboring villages, mostly women and children, and the elderly, took shelter inside the monastery. Approximately 300 men defended the monastery as the Ottomans approached. The Turks failed to take the monastery on the first day, but they breached the walls during the night and killed all the men. The women, children, and elderly, along with the abbot, barricaded themselves inside the powder magazine. They knew that if they were captured, they were promised to two harems. So as the Ottomans broke down the door, the abbot dropped the candle into the gunpowder barrel, 
ending the lives of everyone inside and saving them from a horrible fate. This tragic act of resistance sparked a decades-long revolution that finally led to the island being united with Greece in 1913. If you plan on visiting the monastery, know that the morning can be busy with the local and tour buses. We arrived in the afternoon as the last bus was leaving, so the monastery is pretty quiet. Join me in my next video as I explore more of the island of Crete. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching!